I've got a headache, Zeb. Phoebe, I've got a headache. You got any sympathy for me? Alright. Axel! Axel! Come here. Come here. Where are you? Come here. Oh, hello. Hello. I drank all the alcohol, Axel. I drank all the alcohol. I drank all the soda too. What do you think about that? Oh. Oh. Hey. What do you think about that, Phoebe? Ow. Oh. Oh. What was that? What was that, Axel? <laughs> Kev the goat, do you think he's a cow? There's my friend hamburgers and sausages and steakers over there. Can you make me a coffee, Axel? Can you make me a coffee? Phoebe, can you make me a coffee? Let me know. I know you're a dog, but you can still make me a coffee. Hmm. First thing you used to do when you wake up in the morning is strike a pose in the mirror. Hi, Maggie. Maggie, what are we doing today? I feel like McDonald's, so I've got muffins and bacon. I'm still looking at this frozen muffin and this shoulder bacon, trying to forget what I'm doing. Shouldn't have drank that cider last night. Oh my goodness, my head hurts. These two think I'm going to feed them. <laughs> Not likely. I'm back after 10 minutes to look again at the uh, bacon and forget what I'm doing. Oh. Really shouldn't have drunk that scrumpy last night. Horrible stuff. Um, I guess I should cook the bacon. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? What do you reckon, Axel? Hmm. Yeah, I managed to get radio, national radio working in my headphones, and I found the drugs. So, that's a start. Now back, where was I? Oh yes, bacon. This was the longest breakfast ever. And so after about half an hour of procrastination, I um, decided to get these bacon and egg McMuffins going. Um, I'm going to try poach them in the ramekins to try and get that perfect McDonald's egg shape. I don't know if it's going to work, but give it a go. <laughs> Even four of these fuckers going. I think the biggest egg here is probably me, but there we go, and bacon in the oven. Caramelized onion, katsu mayonnaise, a little bit of salad. Yeah, this is probably going to work, but it's taking too long. I should have just chucked them in the fire now. But hey, good stuff. Bacon's on the way. So. Poaching method actually worked. Said bacon and we're good. Bacon and egg McMuffin dubsy style. Ciao! Yeah. I'm procrastinating doing any mahi around the house because I feel like death warmed up. So I've made breakfast. Next mission is dinner. First up, we're gonna fry some large bacon bits, some red onion. And some mushroom. Gonna fry that off. And um, see what happens after that. I'm just making it up as we go. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna do now. I've got some seafood mix, so I'm gonna make a chowder. Um, ideally, I'd have fresh stock, but we don't have any. So I'm gonna use this packet stuff to mix it up. Bacon mix, browning off. Veggie stock. And deglaze. Oh, 
do it. Milk. Some of that. Hmm, a little bit of that. Sumac. Mixed herb. Chuck it in. Chuck it in. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next thing. It's nice potato going in. Already missed one step in there. Uh, didn't show you the parsnips coming in. But they're both in there now. The key to a good crock pot is not to have too much liquid. Everyone thinks they have to add heaps of liquids. You find heaps of liquid come out of the veggies and stuff over time. That's all in there. I'm just going to leave that now. Later on, I'm going to put in some um, corn towards the end. Fucking smells good. And also, um, obviously, the seafood mix. And I might add some liquid later, um, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I got the crock potting, crock pot doing some crocking, and I've got the bread maker making some bread, and um, I've got the hellish hangover from Nam drinking um, cider. I can't do my camera in now, but when I was a um, young fellow, I went to um, Mutuaka. A oh, mutri, sorry. What a um, exchange kind of thing, and I stayed at the. Mm. Uh, uh. Stayed at the old Mutum cider place that was called back then, um, before they got bought out by scrumpies. Oh, it's beautiful people, nice place, but oh, that shit is horrible. I don't recommend it. Oh, don't recommend playing scrumpy hands either. Not that I did that last night, but I have before. That's that's the stupidest thing ever. So my day is pretty rude. I've been sitting in the kitchen yawning since I got up, and it's now one o'clock. And all I've done is drunk coffee and googled um, how to make bread in the bread maker. And um, I'm probably just going to keep yawning and standing in the kitchen for the rest of the day. Let's hit the second gear. I don't know, it doesn't look to be getting their bits on the edges, but... See what happens. I'm gonna add, um... The seafood in the corn later on, by the hour before it's ready to serve. Otherwise, I think it'll overcook. <laughs> Just 29 cases today. Thanks, Cindy. Doing a great job there, buddy. You guys ever had one of these, um... Hangovers? Where you go? Oh! You honestly feel you'd be better if you. Got oh. Oh. Ah! Fuck! It's 1 30 in the afternoon and I haven't left the kitchen yet. I've just been feeling sorry for myself and procrastinating. But I just added some lemon zest to that. Thought I'd share that with you. Just an afterthought. Okay, it's like 2 30 now and I'm almost feeling human again. Not quite. Don't drink cider is the moral of the story. Um, anyway, here's the um, seafood mix. I'm just going to chuck that in the crock pot now and leave it on low. So a little bit frozen, so I reckon on low by the time we go to eat it, it should be just right. And I'm going to chuck, might chuck the corn in now too. So there's the uh, concoction with the um, seafood in the corn in there. I was going to add some peas too, but the colours are just not right, you know. I'm sure it tasted right, but you know, it'll ruin the creamy kind of goodness, so maybe next time. The bread's been very bready. One more afterthought for the chowder soup. One bay leaf, pre-eaten by insect straight from the garden. I'll just make sure I take that out. Otherwise some poor bastard might get it. Hmm. A couple of Couple of bits of fresh basil, and it's looking bloody good, eh? Bloody good, mate. Hey, Pikikawa, you're early. It's not so thirty yet. You're supposed to come in at four thirty. 
I'm not having a bee yet. I'm just looking for something. I don't know if you saw my video the other day of that bird, but he comes in at the same time every day. He's early today. Also, in my other video, I was talking about how you need to clean up your shed so you can find stuff, and it's a perfect example. I haven't done much today, but I was going to try and put on a shower door, a glass shower door. But first, I need to find the little book that came with it. I did have it a few days ago. It's got a little um, plastic seal or something in it, and the instructions. And so. It looks like it. Well, I don't know where the bag's gone. Aha! Aha. Okay. Crisis diverted. Let's go over to this. And... Anyone done one of these before? If you've got any tips, let me know. I'm sure it's not that hard, but it seems like one of those things that could either be really easy or a really pain in the ass. Could swing either way. Like, um, like a, like a, I can't think of a good analogy there without being rude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your coffee, coconut cream, mix, and need sugar. I don't usually drink sugar in coffee, but I need sugar. <laughs> Bay leaves in there. Just gave it a sprinkle of the Cully's um, low and slow or other stuff. He's cool man, old Cully's. Mike Cully, he makes some good stuff. We had a um, Tiraki kind of dongery thing last night with one of his art oh, show. You. Might as well do some endorsements, eh? For my four followers, they might buy a packet. Um, Cully's man, the Tiraki sauce. If you see that brand in the shops, um, he, he mostly makes hot sauces. This one of no, that's, that's a generic one, not one of his. But Cully's hot sauce man, he does. Um, Dan Orks from the Drive Show and George has his own one, um, which was called More Fire. Um, that was nice. But yeah, Cully's good brand. Um, anyway, just sprinkle that bay leaf, and I've turned it up now. I'm just gonna turn it up until it like starts simmering, steady simmer, and I'll turn it back down. Just to make sure that that um, seafood is cooked. I don't want to overcook it because you know, seafood only really needs to be just heated or just cooked through. You know, not um, I don't want it to go rubbery, but um, yeah. Let's see how we go. I think uh, apparently the yeast we had wasn't the best, so I don't know if this is going to work. Well, it's starting to rise a bit. Might be there. 